Hi everyone, I'm Mary, one of your friendly PCC librarians. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing where to find tests and measures using the Psych Articles database. By the end of this video, we will learn how to access the Psych Articles database. This is a library database that contains research specific to the psychology field. We'll also learn how to browse articles that use a particular test or measurement. And we'll learn how to search for articles on a particular topic and view the tests or measures used. Okay, so let's jump in. In order to access the Psych Articles database, we're going to start from the PCC Library homepage, which is at pasadena.edu library. On the library homepage, click on a button called Databases in the center of the red ribbon. This takes us to a full list of PCC Library databases listed alphabetically. Scroll down, or click on the P to get to the P's, and click on Psych Articles. We are now in the Psych Articles database. Now, let's take a quick pause here. First, we're going to review how to browse articles that use a particular test or measurement. This is useful for when you know the name of a particular test or measure that you are interested in. For example, you may be interested in studying the Rosenberg Self-Esteem Scale, or maybe the Melbourne Decision-Making Questionnaire, or perhaps another test or measurement that you've discussed in class. Let's take a look at how to browse articles that use one of these measurements. From the Psych Articles database landing page, click on a button at the top that says More, and hover over Indexes, and click on APA Psych Articles. From here, click on a Browse and Index field, and select Tests and Measures. Click on Browse. This takes users to a full list of all the tests and measurements that the articles in this database have been tagged with. It's a lengthy list, and it's many pages long. This might be a helpful list to review if you're still looking for ideas on which measurement you might be interested in studying. It's also helpful for searching on a test or measurement that you already have in mind. For example, let's type in Rosenberg Self-Esteem Scale and hit enter. Notice that it brought up a list of entries, and this first one appears to match, Rosenberg Self-Esteem Scale. There are 756 articles in this database that use this measurement, so let's go over how we can get to those specific articles. First, check the box next to the measurement name, then click on Add. This will add that measurement's name to our search box, then click on Search. We now have a list of those 756 articles that use the Rosenberg Self-Esteem Scale. 756 is a lot, but users can refine their search further as needed. For instance, if my research topic is about anxiety, I could plug that into the keyword search box, making sure to leave the first search box with the name of my measurement name alone. I've clicked on Search. And this brings the results list down to 91, which is a much more manageable to list to browse through. Okay, let's take one more quick pause here. We're next going to review how to search for articles on a particular topic and then view the tests and measurements used in those articles. This is useful when you know the topic of what you want to study and want to see what kinds of tests and measures have been used. There is no need to know the name of a test or measurement for this kind of search. So let's take a look at how to do this. From the Psych Articles database landing page, click on New Search to reset the page. Let's say my main topic of study is college students and anxiety. I've typed in my keywords and I've clicked on Search. I now have a results list of about 2,200 articles that mention college students and anxiety. So how can we view any tests and measurements used? Well, on the left-hand side of the screen are the database's super helpful filters. If you scroll down a bit, notice that there is a filter called Tests and Measures. Click on this refinement, and then click on Show More. This brings you to a list of the tests and measurements used in your results list. For example, 
23 articles use the Beck Anxiety Inventory, 17 articles use the Social Interaction Anxiety Scale, and 13 use the Perceived Stress Scale. When users click on one of these and then click on Update, the page will refresh to give you a list of only those results that use the measurement that was just selected. Remember, PCC Library is here to help. On the library homepage are helpful resources to help with your research, including the Databases button, which takes users to the full list of library databases, and the Ask a Librarian button, which takes users to all the different ways to get assistance from PCC Library, including chat, email, and even video conferencing. Thanks for watching.